I've pulled up the Mobile Burn website inside the N97 Mini's web browser so you can see the rendering quality. Render's page is really well. Um, seems very slow though in terms of panning and scrolling or maybe it's not properly interpreting uh, my fingernail on the screen, I'm not sure. Uh, a bit tedious to use even though it looks spot on. Tap in this little icon in the corner you get access to more things like uh, the URL panel, manual zoom controls, and of course full menu of options. It's a visible history for moving from one page to the next. You know, we can easily move to the mobile version of the Mobile Burn website, which I was looking at before this. This is all coming across a, an AT&T 3.5G connection. Uh, not particularly impressive in terms of speeds, even though it reports a very good signal strength. Let's jump into the main menu and take a look around. Here's the music application don't have any songs in here by default but since there's 8 gig of internal storage there's plenty of room for adding songs go into settings quickly on um, Nokia devices generally have very good profile support you notice um, this is a double tap system it's a uh, one to tap second to actually select it and, you, and then I'm going to customize it you can see there's a very large long list of different tones and settings that can be configured for each profile really quite good. Go and take a look at theme support. Looks like they have a few themes there. So this one's rather bright. I'm going to tap on the setup email cell set up a new email account, show you how easy it is. Just enter in an email address. It'll download the settings, in this case I use Gmail. It knows pretty much everything though. I'm going to put in the password and hit OK. Now it's going to connect to the server and test out everything. Activate the Nokia messaging account. And there we go with the new Nokia messaging application. It's a really quite nice. You can see it's syncing, it's pulling down messages right now. Access to folders. Easily change sort methods. Switch to multiple accounts. So here we are with some messages loaded from our test Gmail account. See everything looks quite good. I like how you can double tap on, uh, or tap on today or a particular date to shrink or expand messages from that particular day. Let's take a look at this one right here. You touch it once, you know, you can see a, some, quite a little bit of a snippet out there. You have to select it a second time in order to see the actual message. Now you can see we're missing formatting here. This message was sent with colored text and backgrounds and things like that. So that doesn't come through on this See, we've got two attachments, and let's see if we can open that up. It's downloading right now. You can see the active syncing. And this will pull open the workbook. Same thing with a Word document.
doesn't seem to support uh, finger scrolling for some reason. It's kind of odd. In any event, it's a pretty nice mail client. You can move from message to message. And of course, now that the account's set up, you can see your inbox, the new messages and stuff in the little cell on your home screen. Next thing I want to show is uh, the camera. Long press the shutter button to activate it. See my test subject right there. Quick access to a lot of different settings. And some quick settings just for flash and things like that right there. You can also use that as a shutter button, but it makes a heck of a lot more sense to use the camera hardware shutter button. Press it down a little bit to get focus, then you can reposition everything still while maintaining focus, and then press it all the way to take the picture. Switch to video mode. You can record VGA resolution at 30 frames per second, which is pretty good. Shoot a quick video, just to see what it looks like. So it's recording now. Again, that's a 640 by 480 resolution, 30 frames per second, so the video should be pretty smooth. And let's play it back. So it's recording now. Again, that's a 640 by 480 resolution, 30 frames per second, so the video should be pretty smooth. Play that again. It sounds like there's a lot of sound from the focusing. So it's recording now. Again, that's that definitely sounds like the uh, autofocus mode or causing a lot of noise. We've seen that on. You know, Sony's Webby HD video cameras, too. Quite annoying. So there you have it. That's my unboxing and very quick look at the Nokia N97 Mini. Very much like the original N97, just a little bit smaller, thanks to the lack of a D-pad. Same kind of home screen configuration, same S60 operating system and touch support. So there you have it. That's the Nokia N97 Mini. I'm Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com.